Good morning. Before I begin, I thought I'd do a little brief introduction here. You know, I've worked for IHC some nearly 20 years, and I've had the, the pleasure of building our internet business, to running our distribution channels, to uh, heading up our sales and marketing efforts, and even running our global brands, and working with colleagues in the room. So it probably doesn't come as a surprise that when our CEO asked me to run technology, I, I immediately quipped and said, what did I do to offend you? And so, soon after, I realized his brilliance. Because technology is at the core and the heart of everything we do. It impacts how we create and design brands, how we deliver a better guest experience, how we activate our sales and marketing programs and loyalty programs, and digital interactive with our programmatic media buying and our DMP platforms, and ultimately, our business. But what's most importantly, and to me most interesting, is the profound impact technology in this digital economy is having on consumers' behaviors and how they consume our brands throughout the entire journey of our guest. So as such, we believe you've got to think differently, differently about the demographics, the customer segmentation, so you can deliver that right brand to that right customer at the right time. And so today, in the limited time I have, less time now, I'm going to share with you this transformation, some of the trends, and how we think about it at IHG in addressing what's going on in the respective marketplace. All right? So first, let me take you back to 1952, all right? When Kemets Wilson first founded and first opened the first Holiday Inn Hotel, he knew exactly what he wanted for his customers, he knew exactly the segmentation. And the reason why, he was also a customer. Family of seven, packing a station wagon, driving down the highway system, not able to find a quality, clean hotel product with, with pools, good food, good value, no hidden charges. And that is how the Holiday Inn brand was formed. Roll ahead. 3,600 hotels around the world, 456,000 rooms in the Holiday Inn brand family, 800 more new ones in the pipeline, opening one every other day. He recognized a customer segment, something consumers valued, and the rest is history. It seems rather simple today, a clean room and a clean location, right? Safety and everything else, but back then that was actually quite revolutionary. Because coming off the Great Depression, 80% of hotels were in default, right? Especially for the middle class income, there wasn't that consistent brand experience you could take your family with. So he recognized that. He recognized the lack of that product. It's a lot more complicated today, right, with the transformations socially, economically, culturally over the last 60 years. And that's been fueled by this wealth and prosperity, especially in middle-class households, just like you're seeing in, in China today. Travel, especially air travel, played a critical role in providing access, allowing consumers within markets or boundaries around the world to experience for the first time the travel. And so that, of course, brought a whole set of different demographics vast demographics, from the baby boomers down to the millennials. Quite different. But actually, our research shows that while you traditionally think they're quite different, when it comes to occasions for travel and what they need for travel, it's actually very similar. Markets have matured. Consumers are smarter, have more information at their fingertips, right? The internet. And so, they're demanding a much different experience. And what you're seeing in businesses and what you're seeing in hospitality is this notion of micro-segmentation, right? Very specific segmentation within the hotel industry. So if you're on a long length of stay, extended period of times, days, weeks, months, we have an extended product, your home away from home. All the amenities, features, safety, and comfort. 
like Staybridge Suites. If you want that special boutique feeling for your romantic getaway with your partner, to experience the local culture, the local city you're going, you've got Kimpton Hotels and Resorts. Or most recently, a trend of health-conscious travelers. You want a healthier choice of foods, you want better equipment, exercise equipment, just like you have at home, you can get that now in even hotels. And that trend will continue. It's fueled by some of this globalization, that the economy is creating wealth, right? Huge opportunities in China, in the Middle East, in Latin America, providing huge outbound business to the major markets of Europe and US. In fact, in China alone, they've already surpassed the outbound international travelers of the US, 67 million. In a matter of a couple years, it'll be 100 million outbound Chinese consumers. So how do you respond? Micro-segmentation. We launched last year a brand in China for China, very specific to what they need and what they want in travel. Social identity, image-conscious consumers that want to do business in an environment of prestige over a high-quality dinner and tea experience. And that is Hual Lux and Resorts. So let's switch gears. Let's talk a little bit about the technology that's transforming consumer behaviors. Now, you can remember, it wasn't too long ago, right, folks? You had a digital camera. You had that portable DVD player you took with you on the airplane. That thing called the Blackberry, right, that did email, right? Or phone calls, yeah? Or, or the, <laughs> the GPS you mounted on your dash, 1,200 bucks, Magellan. Or finally, the N Nintendo DS for the games, for your kids, of course, right? Collectively, thousands of dollars. Some of us had one or two, others have all. But now, now in the convenience of one device, you have all of that and much more. Much, much more. Always connected, always on, always know exactly where you're at. And you're one click away from any answer to any question you have from your new best friend forever, your BFF, who is it? Siri. Incredible. Mobile is transforming businesses and transforming travel. Let me give you IHG an example. Before mobile, the average consumer would book their stay seven days in advance. Today, one in five consumers are using their mobile device. 30% of them are doing it in less than 24 hours of arrival. And of the five and a half billion dollars we'll do in internet direct revenue this year alone, 1.3 billion is coming from mobile. And it's not gonna let up, folks. Accelerating use of mobile devices, we're seeing that around the world. All right, next major technology trend, social media, everybody's talking about it. It is transforming how consumers perceive, interact with our brands and how we interact with them. Consumers are being influenced by people they don't even know, by reading reviews, both good, the bad, and sometimes the funny. All right, speaking of funny, we're in New York, right? How many of you saw the, the Pizza Rat video from a couple weeks ago, right? Yes, it was a YouTube video of a little guy trying to bring a slice of pizza down the steps of a subway to his family for dinner. And the media erupted, right? So much so that naturally, he had to open up his own Twitter account to explain his trek, and he said, I wasn't trying to make a statement, humans, just trying to get some damn pizza down the subway stairs. It can be argued, it can be argued, there are far fewer things than New York than a slice, a subway, and that occasional rat. Combine all three, it, it is magic. Folks, this thing went viral. Six million views in a matter of hours, 10 times that many, with texts and tweets, and blogs and videos around the world. The point is, and there is a point here, folks. <laughs> the point is, consumers are taking videos and pictures of their experiences in real time. And they're sharing it. 
and people are engaging with them and making real-time purchases decisions based upon other people's experiences. You can no longer hide behind a TV commercial or a brochure. You must deliver that experience time and time again for each and every customer, right? Because consumers are being influenced by others they don't even know, and you want to make sure that those happy, those loyal guests who are experiencing your hotel are shouting about it because they're going to be the ones engaging other consumers as potential guests for our hotels or our products and services. The next major trend is this notion of personalization. But let me put a spin on it. It's the notion you're willing to trade off privacy for personalization. Your apps today, real time, right now, are sending information about what you're doing, what you're reading, what you're buying, what you're interested in, with, probably without even you knowing it. Geofence, right? Without even you knowing it. Consumers have the choice of turning this stuff, stuff off, but how many do? Not many. Not many know how to turn it off, probably. Because they get out of it some value, whether it's saving you time, precious time, or whether it's saving you money. Think of, think of Uber, right? You're sharing where you're at to an unknown driver. He's sharing where he's at to you real time so you know what to do when you want to get there and get there quick. Or IHG, you know, our IHG mobile app. Real time availability, real time pricing of hotels based upon your preferences right where you're at or right where you want to go. Incredible personalized experience for you where you're at and when you're there. The last trend, we've heard a lot about it, is this notion of the Internet of Things, right? Whether it's your thermostat, whether it's your lock, whether it's your watch, or now even your cars. These devices are being connected at incredible speeds. And some of the recent research suggests there'll be 75 billion online devices in the next five years. Separate from mobile, separate from your computers, individual devices. I can assure you, consumers that are consuming and buying these products for their home, they're going to start demanding differences as you travel abroad and how you interact with hotels, cars, to airplanes. It's fundamentally principled because it's transforming at the same pace that mobile has transformed us. Mash all this up together and what you end up with consumers willing to share information about them. As they walk into the hotel, the beacon fires off and says, welcome, provides you access to your door with your mobile key in your hand, allowing you to create preferences, whether it's thermostats in advance of your arrival or you can do it yourself, right? Or music, or maybe it's ordering something so when you arrive with your family, you have a special gift in the room or even better ordering room service before you arrive or while you're in the room based upon your preferences. Brings me to my first point. This complex, fast-changing world we live in, you have to react to the consumer changes and technology that's driving it. Folks, it's no longer the big beat and the small. It's the fast beat and the slow. You've got to react in real time as consumers' demands and their preferences change. Because if you don't, you end up like a Polaroid. Remember that? Kodak, Blockbuster. Brands, well-known, well-established brands loved but didn't react as consumer changes occurring or the digital disruptors that are disrupting their business. Or worse, they were so overly protected to protect that core business, they end up getting cannibalized by somebody else into oblivion. Second major point, you can't just focus on the demographics. Yes, demographics are matter, right? They're important. Age, income, gender. But they are no longer predictors of attitudes and behaviors of consumers and how they choose their brands. No longer predictors. Really important. And so at IHG, we, we think about demographics, but we focus on what we call the occasions for travel and the needs when you're traveling. We conducted research and interviews with 30,000 consumers from around the world in all the major markets and finding out what they travel, why they travel, what they need when they travel. We now have a set of eight core segments and a portfolio of brands 
that address your occasion you want to travel and why you're traveling, the needs you have in that, which is critically important. Because each of us may travel on business and stay and have one set of needs, but on leisure with family, same traveler, same consumer, different brand, different set of needs. All right? Think about it. Think about that, that family. We have it called family time. It's one of our categories, one of our core segmentations. You want to get away for a special occasion, a birthday. Spend time with the family to create long-lasting memories. We also have a segment around romantic getaways. For those consumers that want to get away to a new market, a new destination, to experience something different with their partner and their spouse. We have business productivity, right? We have well-being for that wellness traveler. All equally important segments in how we deliver to consumers to address their needs as they travel. The next major point is this notion that it's no longer about when you're booking or when you're staying. It's about engaging that consumer throughout the entire guest journey. We think about it against five core phases. When consumers are dreaming about where they want to go with proactive targeted marketing, both online and offline. When they're planning or when they're booking or when they're traveling and staying in our hotels and ultimately while they're sharing those experiences. We want to have a more intimate relationship throughout that entire journey and provide a more personalized experience for you because we believe fundamentally by doing so, you'll become more loyal and create a lifetime relationship with us. The challenge though is you got to make it relevant, you got to be respectful, and you got to make it meaningful. Respect my privacy, respect my time with my, my family, got to be respectful. But you got to make it meaningful. And technology underpins this. Two quick examples. We're now building stay preferences as travelers of what you want when you arrive, both explicitly and what we know about you based upon your historical stays implicitly to cater the experience when you travel in real time. Second example, we're piloting beacons, right? Beacons, these little devices that you can place anywhere you want in strategic locations in hotels because we believe we can make a relevant offer to you so it's seven, eight o'clock at night, you're walking by the bar, we know you like drinks, and we provide you an offer, buy one, get one free. You know, versus at nine o'clock in the morning, which won't help that guest, but may help the guest earlier. But it's about relevancy, and it's not easy to do. But again, that intimacy, that personalization, that, that relevancy and meaningful, respectful relationship is important. And finally, we believe if you want to have sustainable global brands that really matter to consumers, you have to be globally consistent, locally relevant, and personally distinctive. Let me explain. A brand is a promise to a customer. You expect a certain thing. And when that brand is compromised, you lose trust. Trust is compromised. So having consistent brands on a global basis because you're one click away from understanding what happened in China as much as you are in happy United States, you must deliver that global consistency. But you gotta be locally relevant because consumers in different markets are quite different. I'll give you an example, Holiday Inn Express. Key global hallmark is a complimentary high quality breakfast. That comes together quite differently in China than it does in France, than it does in the United States locally relevant. By doing, though, doing that, you establish this, this moments of trust, that trust capital, we call it, in our research report. Companies that do it really well, like Apple and Starbucks, and even now Delta Airlines, they're establishing these moments of trust throughout their entire guest journey by building deeper relationships and loyalty to their brands. It is not easy to do in the hospitality industry. In an environment, we have a lot of franchising, right? They own the airplanes, the stores, and the products. We rely on our owners to have the same passion, the same conviction of delivering high quality guest experience and guest service, of course, through our standards that we do so. And we believe this is extremely important to establish those lifetime customers and lifetime relationship. And the good news of all of this Technology provides an important enabler to do that. So let me, let me end where I began with a story, personal story. I'm the youngest of four. 
the baby, as my 81-year-old mother will say. It amazes me about the circle of life, right? I'm now her, her personal financial planner, I'm her travel agent, and I'm her technology support person. So not surprisingly, I wanted to upgrade the old flip phone she was using to a brand new iPhone. And she said, I don't need that high-tech device just for making phone calls. Guess what? Lo and behold, everything she does is now on that iPhone, from emailing to games to FaceTiming the grandkids to paying her bills on time and online and depositing checks on her mobile device without ever leaving home. And texting. She loves texting. So much so that when I neglected to call her for three days on a trip to Asia just recently, she proceeded to send me daily text, emoji icons only. She wanted to make sure I knew everything was going on in her day to know that she was okay. True story. I got a copy of one here that I saved. She's going to kill me for showing it, but here it is. It says, good morning. I had my coffee. I ate my breakfast. And then you can figure the next one out. I had a shower. I got dressed. I had to run to go exercise from 10 to 11. Love you. True story. We all have those stories, right? True story. The point is, technology and the digital world we live in is transforming consumer behavior like never before. At IHE, we believe you must make consistent investments and innovate to evolve as consumers evolve, to deliver that better guest experience, that personalized experience throughout the entire guest journey. Because there's a saying, people will forget about what you said, they'll forget about what you did, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. Feelings are emotions. Great brands bring out the emotions, bring out the love of the brand or the love of the hotel. And ladies and gentlemen, I at she we're focused on delivering great hotels that guests love. Thank you. Thank you.